Hi, my name is Ed Fry. I'm a cardiologist at St. Vincent Health in Indianapolis, part of Ascension Health. I'm a former ACC governor for Indiana and currently on the board of trustees. Uh, I'm a general cardiologist, uh, but I also help lead the service line uh, for our Indiana network and also I'm the chair for the National Cardiovascular Service Line for Ascension Health. In Indiana, we have over 150 cardiovascular professionals and more than 50 advanced practice professionals. Nationally, we practice in 150 hospitals uh, across 20 states, supported by more than 900 cardiovascular specialists. Our journey with COVID-19 began in early March Today we have more than 18,000 cases in our state and over 1,000 deaths. Uh, we're starting to see a decline in the number of patients being admitted to the hospital and in the ICU and on ventilators, but unfortunately see a rise in cases as we see hot spots throughout the state uh, continue to appear. Uh, like many, our first approach to the COVID-19 pandemic was to defer or cancel planned cardiovascular care uh, in preparation for the COVID surge then dealing acutely with the uh, care required from the COVID surge and now entering into a recovery phase where we plan to reopen our practices and resume what will become a new normal of delivering cardiovascular care. Timing of that is determined by many factors, not the least of which being both federal and state governmental bodies, uh, monitoring of the local uh, prevalence and trajectory of cases uh, as, as uh, they appear, balancing the risk of developing COVID infection versus the risk of further deferral of cardiovascular care and the associated morbidity and uh, uh, mortality that comes with that. This is both a public health decision as well as an economic decision. Um, we want to make sure that we are um, not first and wrong, but rather that we are uh, right in entering back into the recovery uh, at the right time. Um, we're taking approach in our system to try and be as standardized as we can, but to be as different as necessary across the various places that we practice, recognizing that there are many local factors that contribute uh, to how we deliver care and will be necessary to consider as we reopen our practices. I think it's important to realize that it's the patients who will determine when and how we resume cardiovascular services. A good place to start is from the perspective of the patient and to ask ourselves what are patients looking for. And I think one of the first answers we hear is that patients are looking for a trusted hand to help them guide them through this very tumultuous and difficult time. They're looking for access to care in a timely way and in novel ways. They're looking for only the care that they need. They're looking for trusted sources of information, of which the ACC has been a leader in delivering. And they're looking for transparency and honesty in terms of assessing their risks and their needs. So from a practical standpoint, we're really re-engineering all of our procedures and policies as it relates to the inpatient and outpatient practices. On the outpatient side, uh, patients will be screened as well as staff screened for signs and symptoms of COVID infection. We'll be changing the entire registration, scheduling, and checkout procedures to become virtual, changing traffic patterns within the office to reduce waiting times and also to decrease the number of people in waiting areas decrease the number of patients who are in the office at any one given time and also decreasing the number of providers who are in the office as well to create both temporal and geographic uh, social distancing. We'll be changing our stress protocols to minimize risk to staff, particularly use of pharmacologic nuclear stress testing and reducing imaging protocols in echocardiography to reduce exposure of our sonographers to patients. On the inpatient side, we're prioritizing procedures based on the uh, medically necessary time-sensitive scoring system developed by the American College of Surgeons, modifying it and applying it to cardiovascular procedures, 
in the inpatient setting, regular testing for COVID infection with PCR or serologies of staff in the hospital, as well as patients coming into the hospital for procedures within 72 hours currently, but hopefully in the future with more rapid testing that becomes available. Like the office, there will also be universal masking. There'll be changes in traffic flow where there'll be clean entry and exit ways. We're changing the nomenclature of hospitals from uh, what had been termed as dirty and clean now to COVID centers or non-centers um, and uh, in order to provide patient safety and confidence. As we move forward, this is really a tremendous opportunity for us to reinvent how we practice and really taking a patient centered approach to how we deliver care. Also looking forward in terms of being the catalyst to change from fee-for-service healthcare as we knew it in the past to value-based healthcare. Really the opportunity to focus on quality uh, as well as safety and rebuilding patient confidence. This will really allow us to, I think, deliver on the quadruple aim of improved access improve quality of care, decrease cost of care, and also improving physician engagement. This has been an incredible exercise in terms of bringing together all of the stakeholders within the cardiovascular and overall healthcare delivery community to work together to solve problems, to address the patient's needs, and to redesign what we're doing. Tremendous opportunity. Uh, the ACC has taken a has taken a leadership role in providing us with the tools, the information through science and quality, through research, through education, through registries, clinical practice guidelines, and with non-clinical competencies that are now part of the portfolio of the ACC. So we look forward to a COVID world in the future, not just the post-COVID world, but the COVID world as being one where healthcare delivery will be optimized and will solve a lot of problems of the past and look forward to innovation and creativity to improve our care delivery in the future. Thanks. Everybody stay safe.